Yes, folks, I'm finally here in uh, Lima, Peru. And uh, this is my first or second video, okay, <laughs> because of course I got to the airport and I made a little video there. And uh, so I got to my hotel very late last night and I decided today to have a walk around of the city. And uh, so this is the first experience for me here in uh, Quito. I've never been to this. I'm saying Quito. Why am I saying Quito? <laughs> I left Quito last night. <laughs> Lima. Lima. Why am I saying Lima? <laughs> anyway, here in Peru. And uh, I just came from the park, the central park here in the historical area, I guess. And uh, I don't know where to call it. Uh, they have a, a, by every park, there's a church. Uh, I don't know what they call it here, but it's uh, whether cathedral or basilica. I don't know what they call it here in Peru. However, uh, I just walked, you see where I'm pointing back there? I just walked down and this is what I'm seeing. That's the ocean, folks. That's the ocean right there, that's the sea. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna switch the camera to um, off of me so that we can have a look around. Sorry for the overcast day because today is very overcast. Uh, there's no blue skies, all white, you can see. So let, let's do this, okay, let's do this. play area here for the kids now I really don't know what they call the, this area whether it's like a Malacan something like this they will call a Malacan like in Dominican Republic or other places that have visited like Puerto Rico before so but I'm sure that uh, it's sort of like uh, the Bay Area here. As you can see the sea is pretty rough today. Wow. Oh, maybe that's how it is here. <laughs> Uh, and the sun is sort of like a black sun, it's not white sun, so. But people are on the beach. Uh, not much, very few. Today is a Sunday, so I don't know what do people do here on Sundays. Uh, but I'm gonna be walking around, you know. I don't know whether really to do this today, this videoing because of the overcast it's not too clear I'm not getting the best view of the uh... was speaking with a uh, police security lady here at the um, Bay Area here in Lima, Peru and she told me that this part of the bay nobody is allowed to swim but however there are people who almost twice or three times a month lose their life because they feel they can risk it uh, there's a strong tide on this area of the bay and that's why it's not allowed she told me if I go to the mirror floor area which is an area what what I can say north to south from here uh, look like south to me uh, there's an area 
called Ch Chirio, something like that. And there's a, a bay over there that's very calm and suitable for swimming. And that's where people go to swim. But they don't usually swim here. As you can see, it's an area here where they have activities. Let me show you. There's a big um, complex here where you can a band can play. They can have an orchestra. They can have uh, any type of events here. And there's quite a few people. If you look real close. All right, I'm gonna bring you closer. And you can see there's people there. There's some sort of activity. So they use this part of the Bay Area for that. For activities and stuff. And where people can go. And people usually just go for like a um, bay walk. Where you can walk next to the ocean. But uh, you're not allowed to en enter. Or you shouldn't enter. Enter at your own risk. Another thing, what she told me was that this time of the year, which is in June, it's uh, uh, June 1st, uh, no, May, <laughs> May to June, July, is their winter months. That's why you're going to have weather like this. You're going to have it being overcast, the weather's going to be pretty cool and nice. But she says before it was very hot. Uh, you have to understand that Peru, these South, real South American countries, their winter starts like in May, June, July, August, like that. Whereas in Europe and America, it's more like December, September, October, November, December, January. Uh, you, you know, you, Europe and America. So they're just the opposite you know they have the opposite seasons so right now we're in their winter season which they have cooler weather so I'm not gonna get the uh, sites the, the good video that I'm, I'm looking for because of the weather so I am just understanding that okay so by what she was telling me you know I'm still happy that I came during this time because I prefer this type of weather. It's very cool and nice. I can wear just regular, you know, clothes. And uh, from here, I'm going to Cusco, to Machu Picchu in the mountains. I'm going to do that in a few days, which is even more colder. Then I know I have to wear more uh, clothing, you know, in that area. Oh, beautiful. So, let's understand something here. Here in Lima, Peru, when you come down to the bay front like this, they call it the Malicón, similar to what they would call this in uh, most Spanish countries, like uh, Republic, Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. There's a long very long uh, bayfront here it reminds me similar to what I've seen in uh, Puerto Plata and the Republic Dominican Republic when I was there and they have areas not as huge as this wide area from the beach or from the bay from the sea it's not even look like this in the Republic Dominican Republic but I've seen similar thing to this in Europe and uh, Bulgaria area not quite the same but similar where you can go down close to the water, the sea, and walk. See that stretch? You can walk, there's cars driving, you can bike. So if you're living in Lima, of course, 
most of the time for relaxing for bike riding you will find yourself coming to the coast area coming close to the sea that's very beautiful so let me continue my city tour here in Lima, Peru there's an area called Miraflor which is sort of south from here I think <laughs> I'm gonna say south until I ask someone okay uh, but <laughs> when I'm not sure I don't even like to speak you know because I'm not sure whether I'm going south or not because I never establish where I'm at for you to establish where you at you have to ask somebody where you are right you're in a place where you've never been before so I'll do that that will be my next question to somebody yes folks so I'm gonna say it's a beautiful day because it's so cool and nice I am enjoying the uh, atmosphere and uh, the weather because <laughs> I love walking in cool weather <laughs> I'm sure if it was nice blue skies and sunny, I'd be happy I'm doing a video because I would be getting a good video, but at the same time, <laughs> I'd be complaining about, oh, it's so hot and all that, right? So let me stop complaining and show you, okay? I'm walking towards the uh, Mia Floral area. As you can see, I walked away from the uh, what you would call the bay area, the Malikon, and uh, I'm finding some hotels around here in this area. So there's a lot of hotels in this immediate area here. Yes, if you go more north, similar to what I've found in uh, Quito, uh, there are more modern buildings and stuff like that. So the Castanola area is sort of like the older area. It's a big hotel here. So as I continue walking north, if you notice, uh, I turned off uh, at this hotel here. I turned off and because there's an entrance to the bay, there's multiple entrances to the Malikon area, as you can see. And uh, while you're walking north, going to the, um, the mirror floor area, if you want to go down, physically go down to the uh, the bay at the Malikan, you can just use this road here just to see those guys walking down and people going up and down here, cars as well. So this is, I'm figuring they will have like multiple entrances to the area like to the Malikan area like this one. Folks, it's so breezy and nice here this time of the year. It's a Sunday today. It's exactly uh, May 28th. It's a lovely, lovely, cool, beautiful day. As you can see, even the bomberos the firemen are having an exercise. So they use this Malikon area, this big area for a lot of a lot of things, for everything, you know. Keep it to keep festivals, to keep it for exercises, to keep it for walking. That's what makes it so unique here in Lima, Peru. 
So I'm gonna make a statement and say this would be the sort of like the main attraction here, you know. At least it is for me. I've just gotten here yesterday, that's why I'm speaking like this. <laughs> because I haven't seen anything else. And I'm gonna be here for now for a short days because I'm going to Cusco in the mountains to uh, Machu Picchu area. So today is just for me to just observe, you know, what Lima is all about. And I'm a walking guy. I'm always walking. That's why I'm going to live until I'm 150 years old, believe me. Because I walk a lot wherever I go. With my camera, phone, whatever. And uh, just enjoy and observe. So every area you're going is going to have a similar thing to this overlooking the Bay Area. That what makes it so fascinating, you know, to come to this area and just enjoy the, uh, the area as well. For yourself, <laughs> if you're here. I'm gonna say something. I was looking at a video that guy made and he was describing how he'd been to these different countries. And when he got to Peru, he said, he stayed a short time and he left. And you know what he said? Because he find it, it, it's too poor. For him, it is too poor. So that shows you uh, that people, when they travel, they travel with different, with their own. <laughs> idea of what they're looking for in their travel you know if you want to be a good traveler and if you want to get the most out of traveling you don't leave an area just because you find the people are poor or the, the country is a poor area That doesn't make much sense to me. Doesn't really. Because, for instance, for me, I just got here last night. And I'm walking in this area here in Lima, Peru, by the Malecon, by the Bay Area. And this is what I'm observing here. And I'm enjoying my walk. I am enjoying everything about what's going on today. What I'm doing. I know the weather is not so favorable when it comes to take for taking videos. But it's very cool and nice for me. And I'm enjoying this. You know, this is the part of what I'm doing now. And you can see it. It's what I love to do. It's what I get out of traveling. The tranquility, the opportunity to be able to see places like this and understand people better. Understand why people in ne sometimes never left their own country for economical reasons or not. And I can assure you, if you want to be a traveler, if you want to travel, it could be very, 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 very interesting, very comforting, very, it could be an experience of a lifetime. But if you're not willing to do it don't do it don't do it just because you see people traveling yeah I want to travel no no do it because it's something you love to do because if you love to do it you'll get you'll be looking for the things what you you'll be you'll be observing things that will make you 
feel very very different in life I can tell you because it's before I travel I never really understood the travel what's what's really about so until you do it don't just visit a place and complain and say oh I don't like the place because it's a poor place it makes absolutely no sense so I wouldn't say that about Peru so far and I've been here just this is the first real day that I'm here and I'm loving what I'm seeing I'm seeing people that are very pleasant easy going tranquil that's what I'm looking for in life peace and tranquility so the lady just told me that the light of my camera is on I don't know because when I put it on photo it's not uh, it's not coming on only when I put it on camera I don't know because it's a new a new phone and maybe because of the weather because it's, it's very it's more like so overcast that the camera it signal the camera that it need more lighting so it's supplying the light but I'm trying to try to adjust it and see if I can actually make it take off the light while I'm it's gonna burn too much of the burn out the battery somehow okay all right I think I just found out it probably was I, I probably touched the um, the flash sign by mistake maybe that's why it's just going like that all right so let's continue our walk here in Lima Peru our Malican walk our Bayfront walk all right so continue to watch the video you know continue watching thank you for watching the video I'm finally make it to Lima Peru I'm staying in the district of Madelena a district of uh, many uh, district on the coastal line the Bay Area or the Malikon that they call it here in Lima Peru you have San Miguel you have uh, Madelena and then you have uh, San Isidro uh, Miraflor as you go north uh, it gets more lucrative I guess and there also an area where you can swim called El Ch Chirillo <laughs> so I got the opportunity to take you some pictures and in a video and that's what I did I'm here for a few days because I'm heading to the mountains uh, where there's another city called Cusco and it's the sacred valley uh, where Machu Picchu is located so I hope you enjoy the video there's more videos coming because I my plan is to return to Lima and do the other videos covering San Isidro and also the Miraflor area as well so subscribe to my channel make sure you watch the whole video it's a beautiful beautiful area as you can see for yourself thank you for watching